So here we have some individual components of a linear accelerator. And if we look at them very briefly, each individually, we can see how they fit together for the operation of the whole unit. If we start with the electron gun, now the electron gun produces the electrons from this little grid, and this sits behind the wall of the accelerator. Now the electron gun is essentially, very broadly speaking, attached to this device. Now the accelerating structure is basically a one and a half to two meter copper tubing with accelerating cavities inside it. And this structure sits approximately here in the gantry of the unit. Now the electrons are accelerated down the structure by pulses of microwaves from a magnetron. And here we have an example of a magnetron. This is a cutaway example of the magnetron. And if we look in, inside it, we can see the accelerating cavities. So the electrons from the gun are accelerated down the accelerating structure by the pulses of microwaves. They come down here, and by magnets they are bent. The electron beam is bent through 90 degrees, hits a target, and produces, by definition, the X-rays. And so here we are at the back of the linear accelerator, behind the wall of the gantry. There's a lot of electronic equipment, and there's a lot of heavy machinery. We have a lot of high-tension cables. You'll notice that the unit has a gantry mechanism running on runners. There are counterweights here. And there's just generally a lot of high-tension equipment. Now, at the back of the machine, we have the electron gun. And the electron gun is attached to the accelerating structure of the unit, which runs the whole way down here to the bending magnets. Here we have the magnetron surrounded by a water jacket. So these are the components of the linear accelerator. It's a complex piece of electrical equipment. Mm -hmm.